This is CNN Breaking News. And we are back with our breaking news in the CNN. North Korea, just a short time ago, fired several unidentified projectiles into the Sea of Japan. That's according to the South Korean military. This comes four weeks after the North tested a ballistic missile. That missile traveled some 300 miles before falling into the sea. And you can see the range on this map right here. I want to bring in CNN's Paula Hancock. She is joining us from Seoul, South Korea. So, Paula, what more can you tell us about these projectiles? Well, Pamela, we are learning that there are a number of projectiles. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has just commented on it, saying there were four, and saying three of the four actually landed in Japan's economic exclusive zone. So this is uh, waters that are controlled by Japan. They say they are gravely concerned by this, and it shows that North Korea is posing uh, a new threat. We also know from the South Korean military, uh, the Defense Ministry official telling us they flew around 1,000 kilometers. Now, what we don't know at this point is what the trajectory was. Uh, we don't know exactly what kind of missile this was, but certainly uh, the military is looking into it and, uh, and will update us uh, shortly. But uh, the timing, of course, is always crucial with North Korea. Nothing happens by accident. It's always highly choreographed. And just last week, we had those U.S. South Korean military drills uh, starting. They are every year. They are la lasting around two months. And every single year, they anger Pyongyang as they see uh, them as being a, a potential potential dress rehearsal for an invasion. The U.S. and South Korea says they're defensive in nature, but this is in keeping with what we would expect at this time of year. Pamela? All right. Paula Hancock, thank you so much. Bringing us the latest from Seoul, South Korea. And coming up on this...